go ahead and let's take a look at Who Jam's replay here. This is the Paulo Emilio. Now, uh, the Paulo Emilio, uh, so you guys are aware, it's a tier 9 uh, Italian destroyer. It's pretty crazy, right? It's pretty crazy because of what it's able to do. Most people understand it. It can... Uh, let me get my face up. There we go. It can YOLO battleships, mostly. Cruisers too, right? You can pop your smoke, speed boost into things, dump a whole bunch of torpedoes into something, and then watch them explode and laugh. Big O loves this ship because of that. There's a few others that do too. Hujam says, this is my second or third game in this ship. Okay. Um... SAT, Grunty, how do you get the ship? I can't remember. Is it Cole or Research Bureau? It's Research, Research Bureau. Bureau. Thank you, Research Bureau. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at the build you've got for uh, this ship, Who Jam. You've got uh, Main Armaments Mod 1 into Engine Room Protection, Torpedo Tubes Modification 1, Propulsion, Concealment, Main Battery. Honestly? All of that stuff. Sure, NBA, of course. Uh, just remind me which one is yours, and, and we'll take care of that, all right? Because I know you subbed, and you gifted subs too, so absolutely, 100%. Um, I don't think I would change this build at all. What do you guys think? Uh, if you like the ship and play it a lot, I would use the special coal models, like engine boost mod and the okay. smoke mod. Sure. Otherwise, I would probably run the same. Mm -hmm. So, like in slot 2, for example, you could use the engine boost modification. Now, this is very handy because it gives you extra 30% of time for your engine boost, which doesn't last a very long time. And so that extra engine boost duration helps when it comes to lining in with targets. More importantly, I would say in slot 3, is your smoke generator special module. This one would be really handy. Um, the two of them together would work really well. So if you've got the coal and are willing to spend that coal, I agree with Grunty. This is a good choice. Um, but instead, you've gone for the torpedo speed. Prevent, pr protecting your torpedoes makes sense. Um, who jam? Is this a special commander? And being special commander, it's only Cincinnati. Cincinnati. So as you can see, it really doesn't matter one way or another. What's 13 minutes long? Tubular bells? I can get rid of it. Uh, commander skills. Standard, yeah. So you've got grease the gears into consumables enhancements for your smoke generator time okay and engine boost that, that's a good choice that's a good choice survivability expert concealment expert i like what i'm seeing so far a preventative maintenance to keep your torpedo tubes engines all that stuff running uh last stand in case you lose engine and rudder especially as you're trying to yolo somebody very important radio location now radio location yeah, I don't like the radio location. I don't see the purpose for it on the ship. The only thing that's helpful for radio location is if if you need to know if somebody is closer than somebody you're going to YOLO, right? So let's say you want to YOLO a battleship Vermont and your radio location turns to the right and the Vermont is, say, 10 kilometers away. Okay, it, it does give you a little bit of information about what's closer so you know that you might not be able to get that yolo off the way that you want i do agree with you gretty though it maybe isn't that necessary what would you pick instead of radio location here fill the twos for more torpedoes so, so if we're talking about right now i'd probably pick up the adrenaline rush ah hmm. if we're talking about next patch Mm -hmm. I would experiment with Dazzle on this ship. Ah, because Dazzle, not only when you're detected, you've got that dispersion, but what did they also buff your speed, right? For a few seconds? Right. So here's the thing. He has Swift in Silence, which gives an 8% speed boost while he's undetected. Uh-huh. 
So if he tries to rush something, he gets higher or whatever. Mm -hmm. The Swift and Silence would immediately fall off, immediately slow the ship down again, which makes it harder to close the distance and you take more damage. Uh -huh. If you take the Dazzle, you gain 8% speed again, which basically completely... Like, you will Cancels either have out. the Dazzle active or you will have the Swift and Silence active, which means you permanently have 8% speed. Mm -hmm. Unless you're detected for less than for more than 15 seconds at a time. Okay. I don't know if it's good, but I would definitely try it out. I think mm. it's very useful on Paulo Emilio. Okay. I would I would also next patch I would drop the grease the gears, mm. and I would take the consumable specialist to reduce the cooldown on the smoke and the speed boost. Okay. Right, because that's getting a buff too. Okay. All right. The nice thing is there's there's free commander respects with the next patch. The part that's not so nice is you only have a week to decide. So I would say respect all your captains if you can. It's going to take you an hour to do most likely. Respec them all and, and then experiment. You can also try it out on the PTS right now. The public test server is a good option as well. That is true. Okay. Aside from aside from India location, everything else makes perfect sense to me, and especially in a YOLO mill. You're going to smoke up. You want that swift and silence for that extra speed. As Grunty says, when the Dazzle comes into play, uh, the buff for Dazzle, I should say, that, that's going to be useful as well. Signals, uh, anti-detonation, speed, smoke, consumables, absolutely everything that you'd want on Apollo Emilio. You might want to do this one here. Uh, no, sorry. I was right the first time. Increase your chances of causing a flood in case you don't get a kill on something. Better chance of causing mm. a flood. I think the flying chance is really high already. Right. But but I'm just saying, like just, just to be darn sure you get the flood. If you're taking the anti-debt, you could take the flood chance one as well because who cares? You're not going to debt. The other thing is... What? Ramming flag might help you too. I would might. take a ramming flag on this ship particular. Yeah. Because if you somehow miss mess up your YOLO run or something, right. Right. you you can get some extra damage on a ram. Because mm -hmm. like if you miss the YOLO with the torps, mm -hmm. you're most likely not gonna get out again in a bar. No. Mm. No. Unless you rush something like a lone Yamato or so that yep. doesn't get the turrets onto you. Mm. All right, well, let's go ahead and get to the replay then. And, and let's watch the replay. Um, Who Jam, is there a death pick in this replay? I can't remember if you answered that earlier. I already took a screenshot anyway, just to be safe. There is. Fantastic. All right, this is... uh, What? Brawls. Right? That's a brawl icon. Okay. That makes sense. So it's all straight tier nines. Now, in this iteration of brawls, you could bring a division of up to three or four. I think it's up to four players. Um, but brawls is a great way to grind out a tier nine ship. Now, this is a premium ship. You're not grinding anything. You're just trying to have fun. Is that correct, Ujam? Or is there a specific mission you're working on? Those of you that tuned in for the live portion of my stream, you saw how I was working on specific missions because, well, Wargaming likes to put missions out there. One thing as a fair warning for everybody who wants to maybe pick up the ship, hmm. it's it's YOLO rush gimmick uh -huh. gets completely negated by Hydro. And Radar, but mostly <laughs> Hydro. So the Siegfried and the FDG on the enemy team are your biggest threats. You don't want to YOLO them unless you know for sure their Hydro is down. Where can you or get- Or be a man and YOLO them anyways. There you go. Where can you get the nice overlay? What overlay are you talking about? JB, thank you for the follow. Welcome aboard. Exclamation point target is what you want to type into chat. Uh, two people are locating you and they're in the middle of the map. Probably Jaeger. Maybe Fletcher as well. 
If they're not paying I attention, used... that's on them. That's true. I used to like this ship, but with... it's it's very difficult to play in random battles these days. Well, with the with with the amount of radar and hydro, yes, absolutely. Oh, you're located. Ship bars, torpedo range. Ah, on the sides. Yes, this is a side panel mod. Uh, you can get it through Aslane's mod pack. Exclamation point mods. Somebody type that in the chat, please. Now you're detected. I'm surprised you didn't smoke up here. Um, because honestly, your first attempt here has failed. Smoke up, back off, be smart about this and be safe. You're gonna have to restart your timer for another two minutes, but you gotta wait. Right? Something is clearly detecting you within your, your detection range. Thank you, NBA. I mean, it's the Jaeger, right? The most You'd expect the Jaeger. Three torpedoes coming towards him, so... Okay, I missed the torpedoes. But yeah, you would expect this Ray, uh, Jaeger anyways. I always like to go I'll based off of worst case possibility, which would be Jaeger. Also, at the beginning, you mm. really can't expect to rush down enemies. They just got out of spawn, so they're going to be grouped up. This is yeah, true. Yeah, and you know, and you know, they all have their hydro available still, right? Because like right. the moment they see a smoke cloud coming towards you, mm -hmm. if the player is half decent, mm -hmm. they're gonna use the hydro. Rip the Giuseppe Verdi already, jeez. Mm. Like that's the problem with these Yolo rushes. Like they they are kind of telegraphed. Uh, um, you should be speed boosting. There we go. Why are you smoking and boosting now? Are you, you, you want to sneak up on an Osher Gotland? Now, the, she's he got... He wants to get sick freed. She's got sap. Okay. Yeah, I see it. Looking at the, uh, a, the mini map. This is another problem with the YOLO rushes, by the way. Sick so freed Hydro? Someone, no, like, you don't see for yourself. True. So, you don't oh. know if the secret is already turned around or not, so... Look at that. Uh, widespread here, by the way. No, that's actually how you rush. Like, you know, like, you used to have RPF to tell you where he is, roughly. And that's the yeah. best you can do. Yep. So, I would widespread there. You got him with one. Uh, but widespread spreads the damage out more. You don't have to deal with, um, um, saturation. Now, your sap... Is absolutely helpful here for taking out destroyers. You can see you're hitting the Ulster Gotland. He's obviously torpedoing you because he didn't shoot you at the start. There it is. There's your slowdown. And you notice, by the way, hey, warriors. You notice, by the way, that, um, that the Ulster Gotland had no chance in hell of winning. So, good job. Good kill. Yeah, good YOLO rush so far. The only problem now is like, again, cooldown of these smokes is very, very long, so... Yep. You're gonna have to back off a bit, or wait at least. Yeah, it, it's like over two minutes between those mm. rushes. But if you now notice... The torps are six kilometers. Mm -hmm. The detection is, I think, seven, seven, one or so. So if someone would be pushing into you, you can actually somewhat stealth torp and use mm. these torps without having to to rush yeah very hard for that to happen and just warrior hey no problem you're welcome for the drop and thank you for chilling and hanging out with us time extension Neptune dies that's a good thing at this but point. it's one of the reasons why, why specking the ship into torpedoes isn't all that useful. Mm -hmm. Because you have to wait out your consumables anyway. Right. So a quicker torpedo reload doesn't necessarily help you. Absolutely. Want some codes? I mean, post them in chat if you want. Warrior, no problem. Dominic15, thank you for the follow. Welcome aboard. Type X mission point ticket. Look at that. Another time extension. Do I have a tip for the best tier 8 premium cruiser? Absolutely. You want a cruiser with a heel. So for Japanese, that's the Otago. And for Germans, that would be the Prince Eugen. Steel ships when you have Stalingrad and Bergan. 
I'll let the rest of you guys answer on that one. I don't remember off the top of my head. Steel ships. Oh, Musashi. Now, this... I'm going to pause here for a sec. This was way too early on your smoke screen. I understand the use of your engine boost here. I would have held off on smoke screen until you were in your smoke screen next to you. Yes. Ujem even says I messed up. Santander? Really? Santander's got radar, but okay. That's cool. Switch to the right side here. Get your torpedoes on the right ready to go. Widespread the Santander, in my opinion. He's low enough. Don't need he is low speed. enough. And you actually carry over, got... You got a uh, collateral on the Musashi, which is nice. Nice. You might want a DCP here. Get your engines up so that you can get out of protect, uh, out of guaranteed detection. There you go. This is damage you didn't need to take here. This poor Iowa is watching as two of his teammates just died. Uh, all right. Well, you're gonna burn out. You waited too long to heal, or DCP, I mean. And the result of that, now you you took that sticky fire. If you did it right, you could have taken all three. True. True. Something like that's kind of fun. You got the town in the background. All right, we lost the uh, stream raiders. Let me get the next one going. Like, yeah, that smoke was too early, as you said, but mm. it, it didn't matter much here in that case, to be honest. No. I think the biggest thing was your in, in unwillingness to DCP, the engine break, and the fire. To me, the engine break was the most important because you needed to get out of mutual, like, assured spotting distance as quickly as possible. Had you been able to do that, chances are you probably would have not taken that last sticky fire and you would have survived. In this particular game, you're still going to win because it's Jaeger versus Z46. A 3x Jaeger, so that could be a threat. Considering that the set is shooting AP at an angle destroyer, I wouldn't... Ah, he realized. Yep. I wasn't going to go there, but Grunty did for me. Thank you, Grunty. Let me see. Armory.worldofwarships.com. Uh, what was the question about? It was about a steel ship, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I mean, if Z was smart here, he'd just turn around right now. If Jaeger has to push into him, that's GG. Pujam is absolutely correct. This is not a guaranteed win for the Z46. It okay. should be a guaranteed win for the Z46. And why is that? Like, Z46 has doubled the, almost doubled the DPM. Jaeger. <laughs> Jaeger has no gun DPM whatsoever. Yep. Like, not, yeah. not that the Z46 one is great, don't get me wrong, but... It should never lose that gunfight. Mm. All right. So eh. the person asked about a steel ship. Yasfat. Steel ships. Stalingrad Brigon already. Steel ships. Stalingrad Brigon. If you like Yamato, Shikishima is fantastic. If you like German battleships, maybe Mecklenburg. Incomparable, I wouldn't get. Druid, I love. I think Druid is a lot of fun. Oh, but she's not steel. Sorry. Um. Is the Chung Moon now going to die? Z42, if you're really good at using your guns. Ragnar. Absolutely Ragnar. Get the Ragnar. Uh, it's got the heal. It's got good, uh, good guns. Got a uh, radar that can stealth uh, radar. 
I mean, Ragnar, I think, is an easy pick. Ragnar is pretty good. Yeah. Although somewhat above average in terms of difficulty, because she's easy to hit once her speed boost is down. That's true. Oh, did we miss the Z42 dying? How'd that happen? 46 minutes. The, uh, the Jaeger went around the island and just dropped the Z46. It was... Embarrassing. embarrassing. Yeah, embarrassing is probably yeah. the right word. Fair enough, fair enough. Well, let's go ahead I mean, and speed always, this replay. There's up. always Gato for steel too, if you like submarines. If you want, if you, okay, you Satan. <laughs> if you want to troll people, then then Gato is a good choice too. All right, let's take a look at the replay render. Here it is. I mean, it's a good submarine. Sure. Probably the best tier ten one. <laughs> of course it is, because it's premium. Your other choice is U four five zero one. So just coal. Anyways, oh, hold on a second. I'm sorry. Hold on. We didn't talk about your uh, game ending screens, your post battle screens. So you got four kills, one and a half million credits, 155,000 damage. Not bad at all. You came in first by 150, 150 base XP. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, it's a good game for you, man. All right, here's a replay render. Turn fucker, hello. It's kind of an example game of when enough things go right for Apollo Emilio, because of her, mm -hmm. uh, min because of her nature, she'll get like she's a famine feast or famine kind of ship. Yep. Like these are kind of the good games you'll get, but if yep. you get a bad game, you'll basically damage so who jam is extremely lucky that the enemy schroeder or not schroeder um jaeger no what's it called with an s the siegfried. one that siegfried thank you the enemy siegfried did not use his hydro either he used it way too early and then it wasn't available or he just completely forgot it existed but he never noticed apollo meal coming around the left side he was focused on the, the right getting side. the rubric down yep I mean, you would have ex it. How late in the game is it? Like four minutes in? Pretty early. Like, you would you would expect the Hydra to be running because like there were two destroyers in the sea cap already throwing torps out. So it's really surprising that it wasn't up. Fox says maybe it's one of the rare specimens who swapped Hydro for defensive anti-air. That's also a possibility. That is true. I don't recall that being an option. Is it? Uh, let me check the secret real quick. I'm checking right now. Thank you. Uh, yes, thank it you. is an option. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Although, if you take DFA for Hydro, you are willingly trolling yourself. You deserve especially to die. In a, especially in a tier 9 brawl match where there can't mm -hmm. be any carrier. Mm -hmm. Well, and then as Hujan points out, you're absolutely correct. The Santander has both Radar and Hydro and forgot that both are available too. So... I mean, you've got essentially two cruisers that absolutely negate you and counter you as a YOLO charging uh, destroyer, and yet they died. So, GG there. Well, it's not, it's only a counter if they know how to do it. After all, mm -hmm. the 46 got countered by a torpedo destroyer. Right. Torped. Santander is more understandable, that's true. At that point, the Santander had probably used radar already when coming around the big island at the south. Maybe I already had radar, or, or sorry, hydro used as well. So, yeah, I get it. Hydro doesn't matter much. The hydro range is three kilometers. Every little bit helps, but yes, I agree with you. Okay. It's a nice battle with Apollo Emilio, who jam. It does showcase the strength of that ship. And the only feedback, as you even said yourself, you smoked too early um, when you went after the Santander and stuff like that. Cool. Other than that, uh, fantastic use of radio location to note 
where the enemy Siegfried was, and then you just LOL kill them, you know, as soon as you spotted him uh, because of proxying, which is cool. Yeah, good stuff. Distracted enemy is an easy enemy. I mean, I've played these ships before, and personally, when I play the game, enemies are always very aware of where I am and stuff. I don't know if it's because I'm a CC or what, but they're they're worried about me. The so. center there is radaring right now. Hmm. His radar was in cooldown. Yep. We don't know the yeah. status of the Hydra, though. It comes down to situational awareness. Like, most play like most people... Players will tunnel vision on the thread in front of them. Absolutely. So in this case, it would be Siegfried on the Ruprecht in front. Absolutely. So yes. if you're running at this at his side, especially when he doesn't expect you, mm -hmm. then yeah, then you have a higher chance of just ambushing him right there. Absolutely. That being said, he's supposed to have Hydro in the. He's already supposed to have Hydro running, but a lot of players forget that option for whatever reason. It's also brawls. People are relaxed. They're not paying attention. That is true. Who jam as well. At the end of the day, it's a very fun game. So, hopefully we gave you a little bit of feedback. But more importantly, hopefully people who have died to a Palomilio have gotten some feedback too about, like, what not to do so you don't die to a Palomilio. That simple. Like, brawls? Okay. Being relaxed is fine, but that's mm -hmm. not an excuse to forget some basics. No. 